Do you wish you had a writing assistant who could jump in any time to help you brainstorm, rewrite, or polish your documents? That's exactly what Microsoft 365 Copilot in Word can do. Whether you're creating reports, crafting proposals, or summarizing lengthy content, Copilot helps you work faster and write better, all with less stress. In this video, I'll show you how to tap into this powerful AI tool right inside of Word. Let's start with something simple, asking Copilot to draft content for us. I'm in a new document in Word, and these prompts at the top are because I have the paid Copilot add-in to my Microsoft 365 subscription. I can also access Copilot from the icon here on the right-hand side of the Home tab in my ribbon. So this would be another way to communicate with Copilot. Notice some of the prompts that are suggested here. For this one, I'll just click into this box, describe what I'd like to write. So I'm asking Copilot to help me draft an introduction to a project proposal for a new wellness program at Contoso. This can often help inspiring, just kind of spark some ideas for us. When I enter that in, notice the document here that is created. It's a good starting place for me. This might be something that I build into a proposal in a Word document. It might be something that I drop into an email. So I have the option to also change the tone. So for instance, I could have added this to original prompt, but I can also add to this. Perhaps I want this to be a little bit more informal. And now I'll simply send that on its way. You can see that the tone changed quite a bit. Let's say I like that, I'm ready to go, I'll keep it. And of course, then we can modify the content according to our needs, but this is a great start for us. To learn more about getting started with Microsoft 365 Copilot, find the link above or in the description below to watch my video. How can we use Copilot for an existing document? Now, this file is only 13 pages. I know some of the documents you work with may be many, many more, but I can also use Copilot to help me add more content, to summarize. Let's try a few things. I'll open my Copilot window and I'd like to add an image. I could go to insert and pictures and choose stock images, perfectly fine. Well, what if I'm looking for something a little bit more specific where it's not available in my stock images? So I've asked Copilot to generate an image showing a variety of different types of chocolate displayed on a wooden table. Let's see what happens. Copilot uses Microsoft Designer's Image Creator tool to create suggested images. So I like that one. I'll choose Insert. And by default, it'll just be added to the beginning of the document, but it will only take a few steps for us to resize it and move it where we want. I'll select it. Let's say I'd like this to be smaller. And I'll change my wrap options so it's square. Here I'll cut it so I can move it. Control X. And I'll move towards the end of the document. Let's say I'd like to add this to the beginning of the fun facts about chocolate section. And we'll paste it in. And now I can move this. Let's say this looks like a perfect place to put it. So Copilot has helped us to create this content that we can add to our documents. As you're working with prompts in Copilot, certainly you can type them, but also notice here that you could enable the microphone. So if you find that that's just an easier to dictate it rather than type it, it is an option for you. Additionally, we have this choice here to add, and we can attach a file that's part of our prompting, but let's get view prompts here. Sometimes this can be helpful as well. Here we have the Copilot prompt gallery. Now, of course, we can see all prompts, which takes us to a Microsoft site where we can get into a lot of detail. But first, we could pick the kind of task. What is it? Do we want to create something? Do we have a question we want to ask? Is there something we'd like to learn? And then we can also narrow it down by a particular job type or even industry. So you can see how 
this could be helpful for us to really narrow and refine our searches and prompts. Let's create another new document in Word. You notice once again, we have those prompts, those options. For instance, here I could summarize a meeting. Perhaps I have a transcript from a meeting. What do I want to write? Here I'd like to attach a file. Now there's multiple ways I could get to that, but I'll just do a slash. And I want the all about chocolate file, so I'll select that. And what I'd like to do here is to create insights from this all about chocolate file. We could also say create a summary. It's a 13 page document. How could we streamline that to make it a little easier to understand? Let's see what happens. I'll go ahead and keep it. Let's look at what we have. So here we have a two page summary of the content in that much larger report. We can even save this file and use Copilot to help us create a presentation in PowerPoint. So you can see how having Copilot can help us to interconnect and really work effectively with all of our Microsoft 365 applications. What do you think of these Copilot options in Word? To discover even more ways to save time and get more done in Microsoft Word, visit me at thesoftwarepro.com slash word. While you're there, you can also sign up for my free software tips letter. I'd love to stay in touch. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.